Okay, it's Mike and Joe here at the Ogden Pioneers Day Rodeo. We're going to have a great night tonight. You look like you're ready for it. I'm ready. I got my boots, my big Texas hair. This is going to be a, This is going to be a great night. Let's go see about some riders and some whoopee girls and see what's going on in here. All right, let's do it. the Ogden Pioneer Day Rodeo with John Harrison, the rodeo clown, right? That is All correct. right, so tell us a little bit about your experience, how long you've been doing this. You know, uh, as far as doing the comedy, I've only been doing it about seven years. We started riding horses, we grew up on a ranch of course, and so you start riding from the time you're an infant. I got my first trick riding lesson when I was six years old, and you know, everything that your mom and dad told you not to do on a horse, <laughs> kind of what we do. Yeah. So you come out to the rodeo and we turn trick riding into a comedy act now, and so we kind of fall off and hang on at the same time. How how many rodeos a year do you do? We're on the road about nine months out of the year. We leave here and we go to Oregon and then um, back to Texas, you know, nice. so we travel all over and it's great. Uh, rodeo is such a family sport. I get to take my wife, my two kids with me everywhere we go. She's from California and so when we get to California, she used to go see her family. And right. So we get back to Oklahoma, we get to see my family and so we're on the road all the time. Yeah, we're excited yeah, to watch you perform tonight. We're very excited and thanks so much for taking time to speak with us. You're welcome. Thank you all for having us at Ogden. with Cassidy Black and Katie Joe, There are a couple of the Whoopi Girls here. So tell me, what, what is a Whoopi Girl? Well, a Whoopi Girl is a group of girls who represents Ogden Pioneer Days. Not only do we carry the sponsor flags around the arena, but we help with other programs such as the Special Kids Rodeo and the Hoedown and a lot of other events that Ogden Pioneer Days has to offer. Well, exciting. And this is the 75th anniversary of the Whoopi Girls. Um, you guys haven't been doing it that long, obviously. How long have you been a Whoopi Girl? I've been a Whoopi Girl for three years now. And, and this is going on eight. Eight years. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, anything exciting we need to watch for tonight that's going to be different than normal? We are having a really tough group of cowboys come in and the wolf packs come coming in, so it should be really interesting. Alright, we're here with some of the riders here at the rodeo. Now what are your names? Heath Ford. Will Smith. Luke Creasy. Okay, and you're from Canada, I heard that. Yeah. And then where are you guys from? Colorado. South Carolina. Okay, and what events do you do here at the rodeo? Bareback ride. Yeah, we bareback ride a little round. Okay, so what what causes somebody to, to ride in a rodeo? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what, you know, to get out there and hurt yourself. Passion. Yeah, it's exciting. Right? Yeah. It's an adrenaline rush and uh, we're just generally crazier than most. <laughs> looking for something we can get good punishment out of and uh, rodeo's it. Do you travel year round? Pretty much. The, the winter's a little less vigorous, but the summer we're gone nearly every day. I yeah. think the last couple years I've been gone 210 plus days. From wow. Home. Really? It's, it's a full-time job. Definitely. You win big bucks doing it? Some days. Yeah. Some days <laughs> <laughs> you going to win big bucks tonight? That's the plan. All That's right. Plan. <laughs> we can't wait to watch you guys tonight, and thanks for taking some time with us. Yeah, yeah thank probably. you. Thank you. Everybody, we're here with Shane Proctor, and he's a pretty well-known bull rider here. Tell us what you have right now. Uh, right now, I'm sitting number one in the PRCA in the world standings. I got about a $13,000 lead, uh, number eight in the PBR. So I definitely go each year and get on a lot of bulls. I try to. I got some good traveling partners who, who really push me to be the best, and that's what it is here. Is just going and get on a lot of bulls, and you know, obviously the laws of average got to work out for me, so right. it works out. So I want to hear a little bit about what it's like for those eight seconds. Like, does it feel like eight seconds or does it feel like forever? Depends. If it's a good ride, it's going to be the fastest eight seconds of your life. If it's a ride that you're really having to work at, it can be the longest eight seconds of your life. You know, some guys jump out of planes for it. Some people take drugs for it. <laughs> 
it's, a, it's an adrenaline rush that I crave, and that's why I ride bulls. It's just because it's fun, and, and it's something I love to do day in and day out. Gotcha. How long have you been doing that? Uh, I've been riding big bulls since I was 15 years old. Uh, I grew up around rodeo. I grew up riding sheep when I was two and three. No way. I moved up to calves, and, and when I got a little bit older, up the steers, then getting on junior bulls. You feeling good tonight? You're going to get out there and just kill it? That, that's the plan. I mean, I got a bull I've been on twice before. He's bucked me off oh. once before. He's only been ridden about four times now. Uh, I rode him last time I got on him. He's a, he's a tough little bull that's just really hard to ride, but I'm looking forward to riding in front, especially out here in front of this great Utah crowd. Yeah. It's just, uh, you know, the air is fresh out here, and it's just fun to be it's here. It's beautiful. Thank you so much for talking to us. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Mike, I love the rodeo. I've been every year. It's so great. We've had an awesome time tonight. Lots of rough riding, hoof stomp in action. Yes, we have. Join us next week when we go check out the Ogden Pioneers Day Parade. We'll have a great time there as well. We'll see you there.